Let's face it, conversion tracking, pixels, tags, triggers, data layers probably is nowhere near the top of your list of things you want to do, let alone think about when it comes to your website and growing your online business. But it's going to make things a heck of a lot easier, especially if you use Tag Manager. So timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources to deploying Tag Manager, irrespective of what website builder you use. Now, let's go through a quick example of why on earth you would use Tag Manager and what it actually does for you. So this is a free tool from Google. And let's say you have a basic sales process where you're getting a bunch of traffic from all the different sources across the web sphere, and you're trying to grow your email list and make some sales, right? So the software you use for this does not matter here. And of course, each one of those solutions is going to want you to put a tracking code or pixel on each one of your pages. And so you'll need to put it on your blog, on your checkout page, in your email service provider, if you're doing landing pages there. And as you can see, it can, it can get a pretty jumbled mess. And so what Tag Manager allows you to do is stop all of this mess and just put one code, Tag Manager code, across all of your different pages one time. And then you take all those codes and put them inside of Tag Manager. So think of it as your giant virtual file cabinet. And so now, let's say in the future you wanna run Bing ads for some reason, well, you don't have to go to each one of your software solutions and each one of your pages and put the Bing ads code uh, across all of them. You can just set it inside Tag Manager and say, hey, do the same thing you do for all these other tags and you're good to go. So what used to take an hour or two now just takes like three or four minutes, right? So that is really the power of Tag Manager. And the only reason it won't work with your solution, if you're using something like Shopify, Wix, or Squarespace, those are just the popular ones, you might actually have to upgrade your plan in order to use Tag Manager. For whatever reason, they figured out that they can just charge you more just because you want tracking codes on your site. So irrespective of what software you decide to use, Tag Manager can work for you. So link in the cards and the description to a super deep dive guide on how to install Tag Manager across all of your pages to simplify your conversion headaches. So now let's go through how Tag Manager is actually organized. So here's one of my Tag Manager accounts here. You can see I have an account for our agency and then an account for our personal site. This last one's just for demos. And when you set up a free account, you can just Google search Tag Manager to set up a free account. You'll go ahead and create an account for your business and then you'll create something called containers for each one of your domains. So each domain you have will have a container and this is going to be where we put all of our tracking codes. So quick overview, we have the account, which is your business, container, which is your individual websites, and then all the codes go inside the container. So if I jump into my main site here, jasonwhaling.com, I can go ahead and click on tags and we can see all of the tags that are currently on our site. And so these are from all different types of tracking platforms. We have the Facebook Pixel and Google Ads and Pinterest is in here somewhere. And then what's also really cool, I won't get too much into it because this is a little advanced, but you can actually start to set up triggers. So you can say, hey, when this happens on my site, that means someone joined my email list or someone registered for my webinar or someone purchased a product. And then when you set that up one time, you can tell all the other platforms this is a purchase event. So you don't have to go set it up for Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, you know, Google ads. You can just say, hey, Tag Manager, this is a purchase and tell all these other platforms that a purchase was made here. And so it makes things really, really simple and easy when it comes to your tracking. So let's go through a quick plan. Like, all right, maybe you only want one or two codes on your site. Maybe you just want Google Analytics and you're thinking, why on earth would I even bother? Well, at the very least, you're going to want Google Analytics 4 and Universal Analytics. Yes, Universal Analytics is, is gonna die in a few months, but I still recommend just put it on there, collect the data while you can. And also Tag Manager has, of course, a deep integration with Google Analytics. So when it comes to setting up events and some tracking, it's actually a lot easier to use Tag Manager to deploy it versus trying to manually do it through analytics. And then I also recommend add the Google Ads remarketing tag, add the Facebook pixel, even if you don't think you're ever going to run traffic. What's really cool about this is these tags and pixels, because they have to be named different, because I guess they don't like each other, go figure. So Google and Facebook, they can collect data about who is visiting your site. And then in the future, you can actually run something called a remarketing campaign. So you can, for just a couple dollars a day, retarget anyone who's ever visited your site or maybe people who saw a particular product or saw a particular free offer and didn't join your email list or didn't purchase. For just a couple bucks, you can start sending ads to them saying, hey, 
come back and check this out. And so just having these on your site is going to make your marketing tremendously easier in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. You have a little bit of a better understanding of what Tag Manager can do and what it actually looks like. Link in the cards in the description to a super deep dive updated guide on exactly how to deploy this for your own websites irrespective of your software, unless they actively block you because they want to make more money. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more guides, just like this one to grow your business. And until the next, keep building the business you love.